In this video, I'm going to share with you what the situation we're in right now with the coronavirus and the psychedelic experience have in common. My name is Ellis. I'm from a whole new high. Welcome to our channel. So I was speaking to Carrie yesterday, who is the co-founder of A Whole New High, and we were talking about how the situation we're in right now, the coronavirus spreading around the world, we're like in lockdown in many, many countries, we are losing part of our freedom, we might feel resistance, we might feel anxiety, we might feel fear, we, we might feel that we are going to lose our business, we go bankrupt, we don't know what's coming, the unknown is in front of us. And it can be slightly overwhelming. And we both feel that because we have done so many psychedelic trips in the past, we are actually really well prepared for this situation. Because if you look at the situation the same way you look at the trip, um, then you're just going to get through with much more ease and a lot more trust. So if you go into a psychedelic journey, you know that whatever comes up needs to be faced and need to be surrendered to. And you know that if you face all of these hardships, you will come out on the other side and feel release, relieved because you have released a lot of emotions, you have released a lot of trauma, and you have released a lot of thoughts, beliefs, and you come out. Usually a psychedelic journey has ups and downs and if you surrender then you will much faster go into the beautiful realm of yeah where everything is just beautiful and full of love and and light and beauty but what happens if we are in a psychedelic journey and we resist what's happening it gets more difficult so if um, I share with you one of my ayahuasca journeys where I, I had set the intention that I wanted to um, just feel love and just be healed and see the light. And then ayahuasca showed me exactly the opposite. It showed me darkness. It showed me suffering and showed me like horrific feelings. And I was resisting it. I was fighting it, I was angry at it, it was so hard, this journey was so, so hard until the moment that I, I, I couldn't fight anymore and I asked, what can I do? And the voice said, get out of the way. And then I started to breathe and to let go of my thoughts. And then I realized that ayahuasca was bringing a part of my soul back that I had split off very early in my childhood. Um, because my nervous system was overloaded and couldn't deal with it but now i could deal with it so it was bringing back this part of me and my lesson for light and love was to take back this part into myself and take care of this card of this part and once i did that i felt the love and the light the intention that i had said now when you look around the world what everybody was wishing for the intention that we have set some time ago was we wanted to create a change nobody wanted to be part of this wheel anymore okay maybe not nobody but many people didn't want to be part of this hamster wheel anymore and um, we didn't like to see all the poverty that we have in the world we didn't um, like to be to have so much pressure on us to make um, and need like our system wasn't working and some of us were like doing a bit better in it and but at the same time even if you were doing well in the system looking at other people who couldn't do well in the system um, would still like feel really happy in our hearts if, if we're in touch with our emotions so we have if it was subconsciously or consciously, we had set the intention for a change to happen. We wanted change. We wanted to save the environment. We wanted to, um, we wanted climate change. We went on the streets, and it's the same way now. The universe is saying, "All right, you want to the change? Then let's look at all the things that need to come up in order for the change to happen." And. This is the situation we're in right now, a similar situation 
like in my trip. And the only thing we can do right now is to get out of the way with our thoughts, our beliefs and our mind. And we, we, it's an amazing time right now to have a meditation practice, to have a breathing practice, um, or to have an emotional vipassana practice. If you have emotions that come up like anxiety or fear, to sit with them, to feel into your body, to feel where do you feel the sensation and to let them move through you without having to make them mean anything. And to go and to learn how to go with the flow, just like in a psychedelic journey. And anybody who has had psychedelic trips will probably know what I'm talking about. And you have, if you had never had one, maybe it's time. <laughs> what a psychedelic journey teaches us is how to surrender to difficult situations. And this is what we need to do as well now. But surrendering doesn't mean that there is no room for all the feelings that we have. It's really important to surrender to anything that comes up within us. And in order to create the change that we want in our lives and the collective, it's really important to look at whatever is coming up. Is it, is it fear? Or is it resentment? Is it nostalgia? Is it maybe even joy? Is it, is it guilt for like slowing down? Whatever it is, look at it. You can journal about it. You can um, yeah, sit, it, sit with it, feel it. You can dance it out. <laughs> but it's important that it moves through you and that we all as, like, as a collective, that everything moves through us. Maybe this is just a manifestation of all the fear that was in our bones, all the fear that we haven't processed as children, um, that was still part of our nervous system, to come up now so that we can take care of it. And we can say like, yeah, well, of course, this is really scary. And the, the world we have created, was it's really scary. And maybe let's create a less scary world now. And these are, I feel like that, they go going into a more empowered state and to see what is actually possible and what do we actually want. And after collapse comes a new start. It's just like the death card in tarot, which is a bit scary for some people, but death always means rebirth. Destruction always need, means creation. After destruction comes creation. So then while the destruction process can be really scary, if you can focus on the creation afterwards to see a bigger picture, um, that might ease your mind. Just like with every journey you go into, you know that you will come out on the other side and that you will have learned a lot seen a lot of beauty and released a lot. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.